My name is Pat de Graham and I'm the parent of a daughter who has a profound learning disability. I'm also the chair of the board of governors of a charity called PANIS. When I was invited to write a blog for the This Is Me 22 campaign about people with profound and multiple learning disabilities, or PMLD, I was really delighted. But my dilemma was where to start, and indeed, would I be able to stop? I speak and write often about PMLD in the hope that someone somewhere is listening and will help to change their lives for the better. Given the times that we live in, it's inevitable that the content and context can be negative and sometimes even shocking. So I wanted to take this opportunity to focus on the positive. So what is PMLD? PANIS is a charity that supports people with PMLD and their families and carers, and this is PANIS's definition. People with PMLD have learning disabilities in the profound range who have a number of complex healthcare needs. Their disabilities can present challenges for them and those providing care. PANIS recognises that profound also means deep, intense, wise and requiring great insight or knowledge. Although many people with PMLD have significant disabilities, they are also teachers, facilitators and can make a great contribution to our lives. The latter part of that definition is what I would like to consider. My daughter Lauren is 33 and lives in a housing support service with three others. She has a profound learning disability, is unable to communicate using speech and has complex epilepsy. But there's much more to Lauren than that. She has a zest for life and the capacity to inspire joy, affection and laughter in everyone she meets. These qualities are not exclusive to Lauren, but are demonstrated by every person with PMLD that I've ever encountered. How is it that someone who may have little speech, who may not be able to walk, who has difficulty expressing themselves, whose brain may work differently from most others, and yet they can add such value to the lives of everyone around them? I've always known this to be the case, but for the purposes of this blog, I'm going to try and work out why that might be. The relationship with someone with PMLD is based on mutual love, trust, generosity, friendship, unselfishness, and is informed by all the senses. It's a paired back sort of relationship that's unencumbered by so many of the trappings of modern life. You don't have to be beautiful, clever, or rich because they accept you just the way you are. And as a result, you accept them just the way that they are. They challenge you and give you opportunities to learn and to develop in so many more ways than you would ever have thought possible. They may keep you on your toes, but you can also have so much fun and pleasure. Beyond that, it has to be said that people with PMLD are the bravest people in society. They face serious challenges every minute of every day of their lives. They may be in pain, they may not understand, they may not be understood, they may be frightened, they may be lonely, and they're unlikely to be able to express those anxieties other than by their behaviour, which may well be misinterpreted. The courage that requires is beyond our understanding, but we have to do our best to listen, to hear and to act on their behalf because no one deserves it more. As a parent, I couldn't be prouder of my daughter. She should never be defined by her learning disability. She's a wonderful, engaging, funny individual who has achieved so much in the face of so many challenges. She's enhanced our family's life in every possible way and we've learned more from Lauren than we could ever have imagined. Lauren and her peers have lives that are of value and add value to the lives of everyone around them. That's why I was so pleased to be involved in the This Is Me project, which so wholeheartedly recognises that value. Thank you for listening.